go-getters can now look forward to an exciting festive season. Yes, now all those who intend buying a Datsun Go and a Datsun Go Plus can look forward to an automatic transmission in their cars. Yes, these cars are going to get a CVT or a continuously variable transmission. If you look at the bigger picture, cars like the Maruti Suzuki Bellino, the Nissan Micra and the Honda Jazz have CVTs. That's a segment which is a little about. Now, for the first time in this segment, where AMTs dominate the scene, we have a CVT. And this CVT will be a lot exciting because not only will it have a drive mode and a low mode or an L mode, it will also have a sport mode. Both the models, the Datsun Go and the Datsun Go Plus have been tweaked a bit on the safety front as well as on the noise front in terms of insulation. We'll talk about it, we'll talk about a drive. This is the Motown India show and my name is Roy P. Tharian. Come along with me for this drive. We are here in Chennai currently at the Renault Nissan Alliance plant and we're going to drive it not only here but on the outskirts of Chennai to see how well this car moves. As a first in the segment, both the Go and the Go Plus will come with a CVT. Currently, both the models are offered with a 5-speed manual transmission only. For those who are not aware, Datsun is an automobile brand owned by Nissan of Japan. Renault of France, Nissan of Japan and Mitsubishi of Japan have cross holdings in each other's companies and operate as one global entity. That is Renault, Nissan, Mitsubishi Alliance. In India, it operates as a Renault and Nissan joint venture company called Renault Nissan Automotive India Private Limited. While Renault and Nissan operate as two different entities worldwide and in India in terms of product offerings, they share among themselves several platforms. Coming to Datsun, this brand offers at the entry level the Ready Go, which comes in both 800cc and 1 litre variants. The 1 litre Ready Go also gets an AMT. The CVT is thus being offered in the Go and the Go Plus. Let me get straight to the point on its performance. I'm impressed by it. While AMTs have a few things not going in its favor like lags while shifting gears, noisy engines, jerks while shifting gears and a park mode missing, this CVT includes a sports mode, negligible lag while accelerating, low engine noise and definitely a smooth shift in gears. I first drove the car without the sports mode and it did accelerate furiously. The engine noise was definitely there but it was very tolerable. It up the 100 km per hour mark rather easily. But the sports mode got me all excited. The little engine whine that was there almost vanished and the gear shifts were quick and the feel was almost like cutting through butter. The sports mode can only be deployed in the drive mode. Once you shift the lever to this mode, you can press a tiny button on the shift lever and get the car moving on the sports mode. The car handled very well, though I felt the electric operated power steering was a bit hard at slow speeds. But I definitely felt the 1198cc petrol engine behaved a lot better with this new automatic transmission. While the same engine was producing around 67 HP peak power at around 5000 RPM with the manual transmission, with the CVT the engine power had increased to 76 HP at around 6000 RPM. That's a neat jump I felt. The peak torque that the engine earlier achieved at 104 Newton meters at around 4000 RPM is now achieved at 4400 RPM with the CVT. The figures are identical for both the Go and the Go Plus. For the Go model, the fuel efficiency has increased to 20.07 km per litre with the CVT from the earlier 19.72 km per litre with the manual transmission. For the Go Plus, the fuel efficiency has decreased to 19.41 km per litre with the CVT from 19.72 km per litre with the MT. Though the company has not tinkered with the exteriors and interiors majorly, what it has done apart from the introduction of the CVT is that there has been a crash performance enhancement. Thus, there has been a front and pedestrian protection enforcement, side crash performance and reinforcement 
and roof reinforcement. And in order to improve NVH levels, the company has incorporated a high performance isolation package in the cars for low wind noise within the cabin. There is also improved isolation and less body holes that prevent noise from entering the cabin. It was quite evident when I was driving. The cabin is well insulated and outside noise is blocked to a great extent. The two models also get speed sensing auto door lock as a new feature. All other features primarily remain the same and I shall not be talking about it except visually take you through a few of them with some notes. Enjoy the video. I hope you are excited about the new CVT in the Datsun Go and the Datsun Go Plus. And most important, I hope you have liked this video. If you have, and do not forget to like and share this video. And if you are not subscribed to the Motor India channel, do so now. Till the next time, ciao. And always belt up when you are in a moving car.